It's an unveiled threat. Sex abuse survivors say if the Archdiocese of San Francisco won't disclose which of its priests have been accused of abuse, then they will. Advocates today unveiled their own list of priests who they say preyed on children, sometimes for years. Senior investigative reporter Bagad Shaban has more on who's accused, including priests still trusted to lead churches in the Bay Area. Outside St. Mary's Cathedral in San Francisco, sexual abuse survivors and their advocates gathered in hopes of forcing the archdiocese into confession. We're talking about the full gamut of sexual assault, sodomy, oral sex. Uh, I, it's really not really, it's, it's, it can be so ugly, it can be sharing victims among priests. Dan McNevin, a survivor himself, says he and other survivors are now doing what the Catholic Church has failed to do for decades. Finally disclose the widespread record of sexual abuse by priests serving in and around San Francisco. Their group, Survivors Network of Those Abused by Priests, also known as SNAP, has just released its own list of 312 priests accused of sexual abuse. All were stationed at churches or schools throughout the Bay Area, going back more than 100 years. And because SNAP doesn't have access to the church's internal files, the actual list of accused priests in the San Francisco area could be even longer. This is a spiritual trauma. It is a physical trauma. And the only way to really get at it is to begin talking about it. And the Archdiocese of San Francisco will not talk about it. To compile the list, SNAP tells us it interviewed alleged victims and sorted through lawsuits, criminal cases, and church documents. Father David Giorso, Father Michael Mahoney, and Monsignor Michael Harriman are the only three priests on the list believed to still be working at Bay Area churches today. As our investigative unit reported this summer, they were each accused in lawsuits filed by alleged victims. All three priests deny the accusations. While the lawsuit against Mahoney was recently withdrawn, his accuser says he still stands by the allegations. The archdiocese told us their own internal reviews showed the abuse claims weren't credible saying the allegations were not sustained, and accordingly, the priests were returned to ministry. Many of the priests on the list are dead, like Father Martin Greenlaw, who pleaded guilty to embezzling from the church in the 90s, but was recently accused of forcing an eight-year-old boy to perform oral sex. Today, SNAP's members walked to the headquarters of the San Francisco Archdiocese to hand-deliver their list of abusers, while demanding the Archbishop finally release details about his priests. So what I'm asking you is, are you going to release the list? Or are you going to just give a response and dodge it? I, I want to know if you're going to release the list. I did give a response. That's Peter Marlowe, the Director of Communications for the San Francisco Archdiocese. The response he's talking about is a written one he sent us earlier today, saying, Our transparency related to sexual abuse allegations is directed to civil authorities, such as police and sheriff's departments, as well as an independent review board and our parish communities. The Archdiocese made no mention of ever releasing its internal list of abusers. Advocates from SNAP, they want yes. to know when the Archdiocese will actually release I have release given the response. You've given a response, yet. but you've not mm -hmm. answered that question. San Francisco's Archdiocese remains the only diocese in California that has yet to release a list. In fact, according to SNAP, out of nearly 200 Catholic dioceses across the nation, only 10% have refused to release a list of their own. That includes San Francisco. Tim Steer served as a priest with the Diocese of Oakland for 25 years, but left after meeting survivors and learning about the abuse they suffered in the church. It caused me to feel deep sadness and intense anger. I'm driven by a sense of justice for these people because I've gotten to know them and know their stories and I know the damage they suffer. It doesn't, it goes on every day of their lives. But even when Catholic bishops disclose which of their priests have been accused, Advocates say the actual level of abuse is often more widespread. That's why SNAP is continuing to compile its own list for other dioceses across Northern California, from Fresno to the Oregon border. So far, they've counted more than 600 names. SNAP is releasing its list now in hopes more victims will come forward. There was a change in state law back in 2019 that actually suspended the statute of limitations when it comes to child sex abuse lawsuits. 
So victims now have until the end of this year to file their claims, regardless of how long ago that abuse happened. With the Investigative Unit, I'm Begat Chaban.